Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Tuesday, June 5th. And you can see uh, the cold front has slipped through the area. And so uh, we're beginning to see some clearing skies and drier uh, air mass moving in. And that's going to lead to a pretty cool day. But we'll see uh, conditions really improve, especially across uh, southern lower Michigan where showers are going. We expect that uh, we'll see mostly sunny skies by later today. Again, though, cooler with highs only in the 60s. And boy, a chilly night tonight on the clear skies. Temperatures dropping down into the possibly the mid-40s, so a very chilly night tonight. And then as we uh, look at a late week system, we expect that showers and thunderstorms are going to be most likely over southern lower Michigan into uh, central and northern Indiana and Ohio, and especially back towards uh, Illinois and Iowa, as the uh, system will be trying to be suppressed to the south of uh, much of the mid-Michigan area. But I think showers and thunderstorms are still a good bet. It's just the heaviest precipitation does look like it will be mainly across southern areas. At least that's the way it looks right now. And we'll continue to watch the model trends over the next couple of days. Yesterday we had a high of 72 and a low of 55 with no precipitation here in Breckenridge. Our normal high is 78 and a normal low is 53. And on this date back in 1905, we had two record rain days in a row, 2.75 inches and 2.2 inches for tomorrow, giving a two day storm total of just under five inches of rain Again, that back in 1905. As far as over the last 24 hours or so, here's some of the uh, precipitation that we've seen uh, overnight, uh, 2200s at Nuego, 1900. So uh, several areas picking up between uh, tenth and a half and two tenths of an inch of rain and less as you get towards the northeastern portions of the area where uh, in over into Ontario where no rain has fallen thus far. If we look at conditions around the area this morning, temperatures uh, as of this early uh, Tuesday morning in the uh, 50s. Again, uh, you can see the low temperature 49 over at Brown City, the warm spot 58, almost 59 degrees at Blissfield. And if we look at the satellite view, you can see the cold front that's swinging around and bringing some of those showers, especially as we get into the uh, southern part of the state. And again, those are moving off to the southeast and behind this cold front, we'll see improving conditions. And look at the feature from a couple of days ago is these two uh, complex of storms merged into one kind of interesting feature there and again those showers will move out of the area this morning and you can see on radar mainly southeast of or southwest of this line here is where the showers have uh, been most predominant and again just a few uh, to the north of that but drier air coming in from the north has kept those showers at bay across much of central and eastern lower Michigan as of this morning and you can see the dry air push these are the current dew uh, point temperatures in the 40s, 47 at Breckenridge, but just south of this uh, lap line, you can see dew, dew points have climbed up into the mid 50s, and that's where the area of showers are. And again, drier air continues to be uh, pushing to the south uh, here throughout the day, and that'll bring us that sunshine here for much of the afternoon. And you can see on the weather map this morning, later on that cold front will sink south of the state, taking the showers off to the south and east of it. This system will weaken as it comes to the uh, southeast, but again, we'll watch for a potential for some showers Thursday night, Thursday, Thursday night, and again, as we get into a Friday night, Saturday. But again, overall, I think the bulk of the precipitation here over the next seven to 10 days is gonna be as you get farther southwest and south across uh, lower Michigan back into the Ohio Valley. And this is a GFS depiction of the, over the next 10 days. You can see a lot of that significant rain well off to our south, coming up into southern lower Michigan, but you get up uh, into uh, northern lower Michigan, very little, if any, rain expected on the GFS model here over the next 10 days. So it's going to be the battle zone that we're in across much of the MAC area. The system trends a little farther north. We could see much more significant rainfall across the area. If it trends south, we'll be uh, more on the dry side here over the next week to 10 days. I think we're going to be in a happy median. I think most areas over the next 10 days will pick up between a half inch and an inch. I think uh, this system is going to try to work its way farther north, but we'll keep an eye on it. The European is really the only model showing that system further north. Many of the other models are uh, suppressing it well to the south, so it's going to be a battle over the next couple of days to see which model ends up being right. As far as your forecast goes, you can get and see a little bit of warming uh, taking place over the next five days, getting into the upper 70s as we get towards the end of the week. And again, the best chance for most areas of uh, precipitation be Friday night through Saturday night as it looks right now with plenty of cloud cover and again uh, very chilly temperatures as we get into tomorrow morning but then we'll see those warm up as well and you don't get much cleaner than this on the uh, weather watch nothing going on for the Great Lakes.
Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day and 73s to all.